the aim of our experiment is to study Hall effect in extrinsic semiconducting samples and determine the type, density and mobility of majority charge carriers. First of all, what is Hall effect? Well, Hall effect is the production of a voltage difference which is called the whole voltage across an electrical conductor transverse to an electric current in the conductor and magnetic field perpendicular to the current. Proceeding further, this is the complete apparatus of the Hall effect. Now let us examine each apparatus separately. This is the extrinsic semiconducting sample. This is the compass to find the direction of magnetic field. This is the Hall effect setup unit which measures current and voltage across the extrinsic semiconducting sample. This is the constant current power supply source which develops magnetic field across electromagnets. This is the Gauss meter along with the sensor which will be used to measure the magnetic field between the two poles of electromagnet. Current is supplied by the constant current source from where it flows through the wires to the pair of electromagnets. Magnetic field is maintained between them. This sensor measures the magnetic field and is connected to the Gauss meter where the magnetic field is displayed. Vary current in constant current generator such that the magnetic field between the poles of the electromagnets becomes 2000 Gauss as displayed on the Gauss meter. Now insert the extrinsic semiconductor device between the poles of the electromagnet. Set current in the Hall effect setup unit as 0.5 mA and then find the voltage across the semiconductor by just rotating the knob on the voltage side. Then vary the current from 0.5 mA to 1 mA and find the corresponding voltage for it. Similarly, vary current by 0.5 mA each time till it reaches 7 mA and note down the corresponding voltages in the observation table. Now change the polarity of the constant current power supplier so as to change the direction of the magnetic field between poles and repeat the previous processes again. Make sure that you switch off the constant current power supply before changing the polarity of the magnetic field. In the same way, we can also change polarities of current and voltage. Then plot the graph of voltage versus current and calculate the slope of line by linear regression. Now by using the following formula, calculate the Hall coefficient, charge density and mobility of the charges as shown.